So, uh, what are we gonna do tonight, OCG? Why, same thing we tried to do every night, but take over the world. I mean, uh, Twitch, uh, take over Twitch. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome once again to Obsessive Compulsive Gaming. I am the Obsessive Compulsive Gamer, joined once more by my faithful manservant slash Buck Totem Bertram, and this is my review for The Crew 2. Now my friends, The Crew 2 was released in 2018, and has nothing to do with The Crew 1. Apart from, once again, demonstrating man's erotic fascination with the automobile. The game was released by Ubi... Uh, Ubi... You know who I am talking about. The company that makes you sacrifice your firstborn child before offering you employment. I... Sure, you know exactly who I am talking about. As you can no doubt see from my gameplay here, I am not to be trusted on the road. Reason number one why I no longer have a driving license. I once confused the steering wheel with my penis. I made a terrible mess, and the shopping center needed new windows. And staff. So, what is the story for the crew too? I am so glad you asked, dear viewer. In four short words, there is no story. Did the writers of the crew all contract COVID-19 before it even existed? I only ask because the crew too has little to no story whatsoever. So clearly, the writers were unavailable. Or dead. Fast and the furious, this is not. So, put away that lotion. There will be no massaging of Vin Diesel's head today. But what this game does have in abundance, apart from driving, of course, is music. The soundtrack features such great artists as Bollocks, to the now very famous Complete and Utter Ass to that most beloved of boy bands, Trash. If it wasn't already incredibly obvious, I found the soundtrack rather lacking. Truth be told, I would rather insert very large nails into my inner ear canal than listen to the music in this game again. You might say I am not the target audience, but I am not hip or that I have no style or taste, to which I say, how dare you? I am a connoisseur of music. I love everything from Mozart to Beethoven to Boyzone. So you can keep your rough daddy, your 25 cents and your M and M's. Thank you very much. Reason number two why I no longer have a driving license. When I see a helpless old man or woman crossing the road, I have the uncontrollable rage to shout abuse at them and or run over them. Reason number three why I no longer have a driving license. I took my first car for a test drive in the local park. I didn't realize there was anyone there. It was bloody five in the morning, but upon checking my tires when I got home, I found what was left of the postman and several dog walkers. 
Luckily, though, I had some spare tires, so crisis averted. Back to the uh, review. I mean, after all, that's what you're here for, yes? I went through the game's tutorial and then picked my first race. A street race, as it happens. But was rather disturbed to discover that my mentor, the man who was going to teach me how to be a better racer, was a chap in a wheelchair. Let me repeat that. My mentor, the man who was going to teach me how to be a better racer, was a chap in a wheelchair. A man who had obviously been paralyzed in, I don't know, a bloody street race perhaps? And he, he, he wants to teach me about driving? That would be like letting Richard Hammond give you a fucking lift to the airport. <laughs> I'd like to say it got better from there, but sadly it did not. All you do in this game is upgrade your vehicle, buy new vehicles, upgrade your apartment thing, buy new clubs, listen to terrible music, and race. So much racing. You race cars, planes, boats, bikes. I did more races in this game than Shannon Stone has had sexual partners. And before you say, But it's a car game. What did you expect? I expected a bloody story. I expected Troy Baker. That's what I bloody wanted. The first game had a story. It had Troy Baker. Reason number four why I no longer have a driving license. I ran through a red light once. If only I'd remember to bring the car. And my clothes. Don't worry, you'll get that joke later. You'll get that joke later. Don't you worry. <clears throat> if it's not obvious by now, I did not enjoy my time with the cool tool. I wanted Troy Baker, and I was denied. Therefore, I have no option but to give the cruel two a three out of ten. Well, <laughs> there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. My review for the crew too. If you enjoyed this little review of mine, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, well then, feel free to give me a thumbs down. Please hit that like, subscribe, bell button thingy. Visit my Twitch channel if you may. I'm sure you'll find it to be very entertaining. But remember the single most important thing, dear viewer, and that is to stay obsessed with gaming. Yes. Try a loop. Just pull the stick back until you've gone a full 360 degrees. Now low altitude. Take a wild guess what that one means. Just be careful not to brush more than the treetops, or you'll get a crash course in landing the wrong way.